Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing part two of the flooded, uh, flooded areas and washed out roads uh, because it's six days later and, and everything has actually gotten worse. One of the towns declared state of emergency, like I had said in the previous video, and that is because there are a set of locks up in another town and there were logs blocking those locks so it was backing up all the water in that town but then they removed all the logs and now the water's moving so quickly that it has flooded now our town and the town that's down below the other one so yes we are all in a state of emergency I saw a friend post something uh, of in our town where we live uh, of these waterfalls that were in the previous video and we actually drove right in and now you can't drive in because the road is completely washed away and the waterfalls have grown probably about an extra 400 feet <laughs> so everything is quite interesting there's a bridge that we showed in the previous video as well and it's one that goes right up uh, to the highway and usually the water is about 15 feet below the bridge and it's about one foot below the bridge right now maybe I'm being a little extra maybe it's like 10 feet below I don't know but the water is ridiculously high it's definitely the water is always at least 10 feet below the bridge and yeah it's about one foot at well it was about one foot last night so we got rain last night again so I don't know where it's gonna be now but we're going to go check it out and film it and this is part two so if you guys want to see all the crazy flooding then okay, so all the water that you guys can see that is from the river and usually right here the river is like a thousand feet away and the river is on the road so that should tell you right there how flooded everything is this person's house is under that person's house is under and I'm going like 10 just for everyone who's wondering why I'm on my phone and driving I'm going like 10 there's the river right there and usually it's about, yeah, a thousand feet away here, right here too. And then these people, that's the river right there. So, not good. So, we're not allowed to go down there anymore. There's like a thing, but that's what I meant in the previous video about it being another three feet under. And the water is moving ridiculously fast. When we came to videotape last time, the tree, that green building, like the gazebo, was, uh, we were parked next to it. There's a picnic table in between those two trees. Yeah, so in between the two trees right there, that is a picnic table. And we were parked next to this building last time to get footage of the tree. So that is everything and like I said they've closed they've closed the little hill to get down there because they don't want people just getting swept away in the current because <laughs> believe me around here stuff like that happens people are smart enough but yeah so that's that so, tree. these are the falls that we videoed last time and I was all the way over there at that bridge and, yeah, and we were parked next to that bridge and now we can't even get over there because it's coming over and it's literally washed out the entire parking lot. So that are, that's the update for these falls. Literally where all this water is right here, you in the summertime can sit there and you get the suntan for probably until about those little trees right there. Well, no, farther than that, way farther than that, actually. But yeah, and like those falls over there, they're so calm in the summer that you can literally slide down the falls on your butt and it's, it's just a, like a summertime hangout and right now it's, it would kill 
see you if you hang out, hung out here. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the update for these falls. Well, I was gonna go to this huge, I, don't, I guess it's a hydro dam that we have here, and I can't because the road is gone. And I know that there's quite a dip in that road, and my car is not that high off the ground. So, I guess I won't be showing you guys that, but we were here uh, when I filmed the first video, the first portion of it, and like the water's like right next to me. Um, we were here and we were able to drive right across the bridge and everything. So I'm guessing the bridge is underwater and everything. But yeah, that's a huge hydro dam right over here and you have to drive that way. And I can't. So, I guess I'll back out of this road and mosey on out of here to the next road. So I decided I would drive to the other side. So over there where all those trucks are is where I was at the hydro dam. And yeah, I think, I think it's a little flooded up here. Cause like there's a picnic table right there and it's kind of like underwater. Water is moving crazy fast. All of this, like all of this right here is usually a parking lot. So this really doesn't do it justice, but we kind of parked like on the edge. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Hey, is it pretty crazy? Are you reading books? The bridge that I was talking about. So it that's underneath. So there's there's a little plastic boat, but usually it's about 10 feet away from the bridge. Maybe maybe 15 feet. It's it's far. That's for sure. And that's how close it is. So yeah, there's a car coming. I have to go. But yeah, that's the bridge. Okay, and now this is the road going to the bridge from the other side. And yeah. That is the river on the road. This is crazy. That's crazy. This is, uh, As if we were there two weeks ago. Kind of deep. It's really deep. I mean, the fashion. Oh, the fire hydrant right there. I'm saying it's at least probably two feet. Moose Delaney's the stairs. There's a floaty going through the parking lot. <laughs> At least it's, oh, I guess it, oh, that's just their greenhouse, Tamar Mart's greenhouse. That's so sad. Yeah, like, look at how deep it gets. This rain isn't helping anything. <laughs> the birds like it, though. 